Hey animals, are we invasive? Is this a crazy question considering we are also considered animals who roam across the earth? Well, it isn't as crazy as one thinks. In fact, the better question to ask might be whether or not we are unnecessarily killing animals. For starters, humans have been around for approximately 6 million years and are blessed with far superior intelligence compared to other animals. As time progressed, humans were able to advance technologically, however, disrupting the flow of wildlife in the process. A prime example of that is how we disrupted the flow of carbon cycle within the fauna. This will be our main topic for today's video as we try to find out if we really are unnecessarily killing animals. The carbon cycle is nature's way of reusing carbon atoms which travel from the atmosphere into organisms on Earth and then back into the atmosphere over and over again. The process is that plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. Then they use en energy from the sun to chemically combine carbon dioxide with hydrogen and oxygen from water to create sugar molecules. Animals that eat plants digest the sugar molecules to get energy for their bodies. Respiration, excretion, and decomposition release the carbon back into the atmosphere or the earth, continuing the cycle. Since our planet and its atmosphere form a closed environment, the amount of carbon in this system does not change. So what is the problem? So the problem is that over the years, the carbon cycle has been thrown out of balance because more carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere compared to the rate it is being absorbed. So this is because of human activities such as burning fossil fuels, uh, changing land use, um, and using limestone to make uh, concrete which all transfer significant quantities of carbon into the atmosphere. So as a result, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is rapidly rising and it is already greater than any time in the last 3.6 million years. The negative impact of human activity on the environment are evident. It is undeniable that we have contributed significantly to its downfall. As the 21st century progresses, we have altered the world in unpredicted ways. At least 70% of our environment has changed. Our actions had long-lasting consequences that will be challenging to overturn. And that's all because of our ignorance and apathy. We take more space on Earth. We pollute their habitats. We illegally hunt and kill animals. We introduce exotic species into habitats. All of these activities deprive animals of resources. Because of human population, animals are disappearing 1,000 times faster than they have in the previous 6 to 5 million years. Scientists predict that in the 21st century, 100 species will become instinct every day. Well, that's all depend on how we live our lives, the things we produce and consume, and how we move around that earth affects. To save our planet, we need to be aware of this impact and work to reduce them as soon as possible. It's not always easy, but it's vital if we need to protect our earth for future generations. Here are some ways to prevent these negative impacts towards animals and their environment. First, don't use plastic bags. Plastic bags are the significant threats to marine life since they take up to 8,000 years to decompose. Second, reduce your use of electronics. Unplugging or turning off your electronics at the wall can save a lot of electricity. Third, reduce carbon emission. Carbon emissions are the discharge of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that enters the atmosphere as a result of human activities such as deforestation, electric use, and industrial manufacturing. Lastly, leave only your footprints behind. By simply following this, our planet would be litter-free or environmentally friendly and healthier. Wildlife preservation is an important issue that affects not only the animals themselves but also the ecosystems they inhabit and the people who depend on those ecosystems. There are many ways that individuals and communities can help preserve wildlife including supporting conservation organizations such as the World Wildlife Fund and the Nature Conservancy work to protect endangered species and their habitats. By donating to these organizations, individuals can help support them. Conserving energy like
climate change is a major threat to wildlife and reducing energy consumption can help slow down the effects of climate change. Reducing waste, many species of wildlife are threatened by many forms of habitat destruction. By reducing waste and properly disposing of waste, individuals can help protect wildlife and their habitats. Educating others by educating people about the importance of preserving wildlife, we can increase the number of people who are actively working to protect wildlife and their habitats. To add to that, it could also support policies that protect wildlife. By supporting policies that protect wildlife, individuals can help ensure that government resources are directed towards conservation efforts. Creating wildlife-friendly spaces. Creating green spaces can provide a safe place for wildlife to live, feed, and breed. Supporting ecotourism. Choosing to visit wildlife in a responsible and sustainable way can help support conservation efforts and local communities. Volunteering. Local conservation organizations may have programs that allow individuals to actively participate in conservation efforts such as monitoring endangered species or restoring habitats. By taking action and supporting conservation efforts, we can help preserve wildlife and the ecosystems they depend on for future generations. So, are humans invasive or not? To be frank, we simply aren't sure. It is still a highly debated question to this day. The truth is, whether we are considered invasive or not, doesn't really matter. We have altered the world in unprecedented ways, disrupted Earth's natural order. We have destroyed entire ecosystems, polluted habitats, and hunted animals to their extinction. We have destroyed this planet. But it's not too late yet. We can still fix our mistakes. It all starts with every individual uniting for a cause. It all starts with you. And if you found the video very informative, please smash the like button below. Subscribe and hit the notification icons to be up to date for more videos in the future.